Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man X. In the last episode, we started Sigma Fortress, as well as did all the other stuff. It might have been a long episode, who knows? I don't know how well everything went. Alright, looks like we got moving platforms. You know what I haven't seen in this game yet? Not seen any... ...good gameplay on my part. <laughs> we haven't seen any of it! <laughs> Let's... How about this? Oh, thank you! The bats are so nice to me. Alright. Much less painless now. It's like nothing even happened. Looks like we're starting off with our Maverick very quickly. Who's it gonna be? Chill Penguin. Oh, you... you're a very easy fight. Charging this thing is kind of awkward compared to other things because it uses up weapon energy as you use it. Okay. Mean of you. Goodbye. Okay. Chill Penguin's down. Interestingly, you can't switch weapons during this. Huh. Okay. You can switch weapons during other, uh, animation things. What's going on? Alright, Chill Penguin. Chill Penguin says this stage. Alright. Don't need to worry about taking damage now. Hello. Please, don't do this to me. Okay, um, how about no? Fine. You, you forced my hand, you forced my buster. That could have gone smarter, probably. Oh, is this Storm Eagle? What's Storm Eagle gonna be weak to? It's either Chameleon Sting or the Shield. I'm gonna guess this because you can kind of aim it upwards. Fuck you, you are very easy now I can dash. Okay, you are really easy, wow. Goodbye! Alright, so... That leaves the shield as the only weapon I have not yet used. Who have I not gotten a good thing on yet? I guess just launch Octopus? And so a shield would make sense for that, I guess. Yeah. So I think that's on Launch Octopus, and... So let's let's see if I get the order right. Uh, strong on Launch Octopus. He gives you this. Strong on Boomer Kawanger. He gives you this. Boomer Qu strong on Stink Chameleon. Strong on Storm Eagle. Strong on Flame Mammoth. Strong on Chill Penguin. Strong on Spark Mandrel. Strong on Armored Armadillo. Strong on Launch Octopus. Yeah, we got the whole order. Alright, cool. Good to know. Uh, 
Um... Does this work? I mean, it does! Interesting. So this is a decent little grind spot to get health and stuff. Especially since all these guys are just dropping health for me. Yeah. Very useful. You just need to go a little bit down the ladder and then bam. This is kind of overpowered, not gonna lie. I don't know how I feel about it. On the one hand, it definitely makes this stuff a lot easier. But on the other hand, it's like... I guess... I, I guess I'll accept it in the sense of, like, this is kind of tough. Also, wow, I just looked at Elgato, and it is literally just a... It either doesn't exist, or it's just a flat ball. I guess this is a 60 frame per second thing that just Elgato is not picking up well. It's... It's just... It looks like a transparent ball, but I guess it's a flickering thing that shows up every other frame, and so the 60... I notice Elgato doesn't actually do 60 FPS, is the thing. Like, not, ex not exactly as you would expect it to. Um, what it does is it kind of, to say on energy, it kind of interpolates sometimes, so, yeah, that kind of looks awkward. It doesn't normally affect things, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can figure out how to not have it do that. Oh, a giant face! Okay, I'm going to use this. Looks like I guessed correctly. Oh, those are instant death spikes down there. Cool. I mean, I, I, knew, I saw the spikes, let's be real, but, like, I also... Kind of hope they wouldn't be instant death. Alright. Problem is, I also already used up a lot of this en energy, so I'm just gonna use up what I can now. I actually don't think it's the strongest thing on him. I think it's just because I'm charging it up. Yeah, that does not do as much as I would have... would assume of a weakness. Kind of explodes out in that pattern. Well, it's not not working. You're the wrong one to be blue.
I got to destroy individual parts. This was a mistake. This was a oh my god, that is terrible. Okay. Okay. Lesson learned. Let's not go after the nose until the eyes are destroyed. Ooh. Me no likey that. Okay, you gotta dash jump in order to make these jumps. Glad I got told about dash jumping, because otherwise I would've been like, what the frickin' hell? Anyways, I do kind of like how Sting Chameleon works on this. Also, another good thing about the stages resetting between things is that I can... Okay. So this is his weakness. I just need to figure out how to actually... ...not shoot into the goddamn wall! Whatever, I didn't use that much of it. How many lives do I have left? I got plenty. So I found out his weakness, I know how to do it, I just need to... I hate this, I hate this, actually. Because I keep... Jumping, and it doesn't switch the direction that the Buster Gut Shot goes. Using one of my sub tanks. Will I be able to have one more shot at this? Yes. Just need to hit him one more time. Ah. I don't mind the concept of that boss, it's just... Instant death. Instant death always sucks. Huh. Alright. I'll go. Be right back. Okay. Full up. Let's go to Sigma 3. And I'll probably do this and then end the episode. I know there's only four stages, so this stage is going to have the rest of the Mavericks. Who's up first? Oh, my favorite friend! He seriously is, like, one of the cutest designs in this game. I love his design. I just... Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay, I didn't take too much damage. I was worried about armad Armadillo in this whole rematch situation. 
because I've never done too well at him. All right, who's next? Pikmin are next. Thanks for the one-up. Didn't really need it. Would prefer lives. Or health. Bats are very nice. really need that, but I wanted to see if I could make that jump. Alright, who's next? Oh, I completely guessed correctly. I just put my- I knew Stink Chameleon could be next. So, like, I, it was like a one in, th what, three shot? But still. Go away. Oh. Stink Chameleon's also someone else who I'm worried about. Okay, please just hit him with the super ultra powered. Fuck you! May do not do as much damage, but it's fast. Okay. At least one of the other ones coming up is Spark Mandrill, and while I really don't know how I feel about the way he works with his power-up as far as a um, boss at the end of the stage is concerned, I'm... I'll admit I'm... less upset by it. Um, operating under the assumption of other things. Oh, hey, I guessed right again. Alright, Sparky. Bam. 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 And... You're dead. Exciting stuff. But it does mean one less... One less worry to worry about. Alright, so who's left? Flame Mammoth... Launch Octopus. That's it. Alright. Pretty certain that's it. Unless I'm just completely forgetting some. Oh, this is Launch Octopus. I have not missed these fish. Alright, so... Would we decide? We decided, decided this. I don't want to charge it up because that's just going to give me a shield and I want a weapon. Also, I should cut off his stuff. the only one left. You know, taking half damage and having all the health really makes a difference on these guys as well. So, all I need is that. Is that a... no. Died yet, right? Yeah, I haven't died yet, so 
I don't even need that extra life up there. I probably should have used the boomerang cutter thing. Also, I'm pretty certain you can- oh. I'm pretty certain you can cut off his trunk. I saw an achievement for that, I think. I looked at the achievement list, I cut it out in between- in between sessions, but it was something that I did glance at, and I saw that there was a thing to cut off his trunk. So I would assume that it's kind of functions like Launch Octopus, which is neat. Okay, Flam... Flammoth. I forgot you did this. I kind of forget what this fight even was like. Quite frankly. Whatever. Alright, that's all the Mavericks done. With how easy they are to fight in this game compared to some other Mega Man games, this, this kind of setup is not really that bad. I just kind of wish they also gave my health. Is this the boss? Wow. Okay. Not even a chance to gain health. What is this thing? This is a bad position for me to be in. Alright, I kinda got trapped there. Okay, so first death was on the boss. That's pretty good. What's gonna be good on this guy? Maybe this? I mean, I was just on it for flame mana. Does not seem like it. So knowing you can land on that part of it does not does help a lot actually. Paying attention to how much this is doing. Looks like it's only one unit of damage. Okay. Not a big deal. This one's pretty good, even though it only does one damage, because it's very quick, and... Uh... You don't necessarily need to aim. But, um... Yeah, I didn't find out what his he was weak to. I wasn't paying attention, not attention. Not a bad boss, though. Simple enough attacks, but complicated in the right ways, I think. Alright, so... With that, I'll go get... refill up my lives and my one sub-tank that I used up. But, uh, after that... Um... After that, I'm just gonna end the episode and do the last fight in our thing. Because, again, this is the thing that I've been worried about. This is the thing I know everybody hates. This is trash, whatever. Whatever it is, I'm going to fight it. I am... I'm not prepared for what it is, but I'm prepared for it to be bad, if that makes sense. Because this kind, this kind of fight has been built up 
on my life. I even mentioned it in Demon's Crest when that fight was garbage. Alright, full sub tanks already. So let's go kill this guy for health. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, we're good. And with that... I'm done. I just have one stage left. I'm pretty certain it's just one stage left, at least. We fought all, we fought all the Mavericks. So next time on Let's Play Mega Man X... Final stage time, everybody. Let's see how badly it goes! I can't wait to see what might be a contender for the dinosaur eggs. <laughs> uh oh.